Hi hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today I am here with Christy and her electric e-bike and we're going to discuss e-bikes. So um, Christy, you've been using this bike for a little while now. How do you like it? I love it. It, it goes everywhere. Uh, I haven't had a chance to ride it in the snow yet, but I'm going to try to do that come Thanksgiving. I'll let you know though. Yeah, yeah. They actually the big fat tires usually they do pretty well in snow. They do good in sand and I've ridden it in gravel. Um and out here. It it does really well out here as well, as long as you let a little bit of air out of the tires. Right. So, right. It's not too rough. Right. Uh so this bike came from electric e bikes and uh you're familiar with them. They're a big supporter of Homes and Wheels Alliance, the five oh one C three that uh we started. And they donated this bike uh, to us to test and to pass on to someone. And Christy is that someone. And so usually when you when you see these kind of tests, they go, people get them, they unbox them, they ride them around for a week or two, and then they send them back. And I said I wouldn't do that. And I don't do that with any of the tests that I do. They have to send me the bike. It becomes mine kind of indefinitely. And then I find a person to take it and test it so that I maintain as much... Um, it, honesty and transparency as I can. It's I don't have anything to gain. It's just how does Christy like it? And so this is a long term review. What's it been now? Three months? Two months? A little over two months. A, a little over two months. Yeah. And you're in a minivan. Yes, I live in a minivan. And so uh we can show you a clip here of it going in and out of the minivan. It's not too you're carrying it inside with you. Yes. And I strap it down to make sure it's not moving around but uh I can put it in there like this with the handlebars down, or I can fold it in half and put it in. Either way, but yeah, I use I haul it around in the minivan. So you could put the rack outside, but that that would just be a pain. Yeah, I don't know if I could lift it high enough. <laughs> right. So. so that raises a question: uh, when you're when you're camped, you just put it outside, you sleep inside, um, but when you're traveling can and you you can't you know because you're in the city and you can't just put it outside uh are you able to to move around in the minivan with it in with you yes um i had my bed built specifically to the right size just for me and then i have quite a bit of space there that i can put the bike in um unfolded i can get the full length of my bed but if i fold it up i can only reach like the bottom half of my bed but i could get around inside the van and if I needed to go into the city and stealth camp or something. Well, these are so well made. You know, these are really, uh, Electric Bike made a great bike here. Now this is their first model with the lower step frame, uh, step through frame. Has that been a, pos a positive for you or do yes. you care? Yes, if, if it didn't have the step through frame, I would not be able to ride it. I can't, I've had a back injury and I can't get my legs up high enough to get over certain heights so it's been a great thing for me right yeah yeah they're um even at my age just my lack of uh, mobility my lack of flexibility there it's really important to me have a step through as well mm -hmm. uh now this is um so you've had it a little over two months yes. and it's been have you had any problems with it um i had one problem that I think was my own fault. I don't think it's a fault on the bike. Um, I was going down a paved road and there was a pothole, not a very big one, and um, it was pretty deep. And I didn't even think about it and I went straight into it and the uh, handlebars came undone. Oh, like this. wow. And I wrecked pretty good, but uh, didn't do too much damage to the bike. <laughs> but, uh, so uh, maybe a little piece of Velcro here. Yes. This to um, not ever allow it pop off again. Yeah, you mentioned that, but I haven't found a piece yet. I'm going to do that. And other than that, that's the only other negative thing that I found about the bike is the kickstand's a little high. Um, when you're on level ground, um, the bike will stand up like this, and a little bit of wind or something can tip it over. But if that uh, kickstand was just maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch shorter, it would be perfect. Right, right. I can see that would be an issue because it is almost up right now. Yeah. Um, I've had a carrier on the back that my dogs ride in. Um, 
one lights it a little better than the other one and but we're working on it <laughs> <laughs> i think in time they'll they'll learn to love it so so you're getting exercise of course the joy of electric bikes is that they'll do a lot of the work for you but so right. i'm assuming you're trying to get some exercise while you're riding um i still get some exercise because i'm a rough rider i like to go out where it's rough and um do like bmx style riding <laughs> i used to uh ride bikes a lot when i was younger and getting this it's gotten me so excited that i just want to get out and ride it and i don't care what kind of terrain i have to ride it on i i'll make it oh i'll do whatever i can to ride wherever i'm at well, and that's the joy of the fat tires. You let some air out and they're yeah. pretty comfortable. Yeah, that seems to be the key. Um, when you're on paved roads, you keep the tires pumped up. Um, the softer the terrain, well, not necessarily the softer. I guess you get more traction when you let out more air. That seems seems to be the way it has been. Right, and a, and a nicer, smoother ride too. Oh yeah, um, it's pretty, even on these, rough rocks out here it's still pretty smooth unless you hit a big rock that's sticking out of the ground um, for me I'm really enjoying it and it goes plenty fast oh yeah um, I've gotten it up to 20 miles an hour <laughs> I'm a little chicken to go fast yet but I've gotten it up to 20 miles an hour on the dirt roads and uh, I've gone 22 on the paved road but it just doesn't feel safe to me, you know. Maybe if I had a helmet, I wouldn't be so worried about it. But And so a lot of people are going to be wondering at home, how are you charging it? You live in a minivan, and uh, how are you able to charge this thing? Um, I have a 300-watt solar panel on the roof, and I really don't charge a lot. I've got my cell phone, my laptop, the bike, and um, that's about it. 300 watts of solar is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So it'll keep this charge no matter how much I ride it. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> right. No, I agree 100%. Even in a stretch of bad weather, I think you'd be okay because you're probably not going to be riding all that much in bad weather. No. So, yeah, that's uh, 300 watts is more than enough. I think for most people, 200 watts will be enough. Uh, you don't have a fridge, a 12-volt fridge. No, I don't use refrigeration at all. So that, if you had a 12-volt fridge, 200 watts might kind of push it. You might need to go up uh, to the 300. You'd have no issues uh, with three, uh, a fridge and the bike and just everything you can want to run within reason. So th this bike weighs about 60 pounds, is that right? Um, I think it weighs more on the line of 50 pounds. Um, you take the battery out, it makes mm. it a little bit lighter probably maybe eight pounds at the most I can't really say for sure but for me it's not that heavy I've I've learned how to uh, move it around so that the weight doesn't bother me um, maybe that's the key to do to uh, hauling it I don't know um, but I do know that it's too heavy for me to get on a bike rack by myself right right and the, to me it's also the inconvenience of having that thing on the back and then I, I think in, if you carry it inside, that's ideal. Uh, so some people are I think uh, wonder if because it has an electric motor, do you have to get a special license? Um, not anywhere that I've ridden it. I've not heard that you have to get a, any type of licensing or permits for this. It doesn't go fast enough to be considered a motor vehicle, so there's no licensing. But um, it does have cruise control, which makes it really nice when you're out on the road just you know enjoying the ride right so there's a speed limit uh below i believe it's 20 miles an hour that if you if a bike can only go 20 miles an hour then it's just street legal and and not a it's a bike and not a motor vehicle right and this one has a tail light and a headlight that work quite well um, i've not ridden it too much at night and it doesn't illuminate really well but you can see well enough to get where you're going so all of that is great. I mean, so far, pretty much just positives about the bike. It's really, really a good bike. But here's the thing that makes it spectacular. It's only $900. And 
And I don't believe you can get a bike of this quality with these features for $900 anywhere else. I mean, it's just a great, great bike at a super great price. So that's why, why we promote them. And uh, we're so very glad that they're supporting us because this is something we can get all in and get behind. So, so far, you've been very, very happy with this bike. You're I really have. glad you have it. Yes, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I also have a couple of family members that love it. My grandson likes to ride on the back with when I'm riding it. And um, I don't know if it's meant for that, but it works quite well. <laughs> and uh, my son just loves it. Um, <laughs> he's, he's thinking about getting one now just because he's had the chance to ride this one. Um, if he hadn't had the chance to ride it, he probably wouldn't buy one because, like you were saying, they are very expensive. Folks, these aren't for everyone, and don't I don't want you to feel like, oh, Bob recommends it, so I've got to go run right out and buy a, uh, an electric bike. That's not the case. If you have the extra money, uh, I think there's a lot of reasons to do it. You, the convenience in, in and out of town, your better health of riding, getting out more. But, um, man, it's, it should be on the low end of your priority list only if you have the money to spare. That's something I would really encourage to you to make sure. And also a lot of people will buy them and then they'll never write them. And I know that happens a lot. And so really be honest with yourself before you think, I just gotta get an electric bike. But if you're thinking of getting an electric bike and if it makes good sense for you, this is a bike that we would highly recommend. So there you go. I think these are great bikes and uh, we, we highly, highly recommend them. We'll check back with Christy in months or six months or a year, and we'll let you know, does this hold up? Is it just a really a long-term purchase? But right now, it's looking really good. It is. Looking really good. I'm loving it. Good. So, folks, if you're thinking about an electric bike, this is the one we very highly recommend for the price and the quality. And uh, they, you had one problem. And you called them and they made it right. Oh yes, when I first got the bike, um, I'd been riding it and uh, I realized the battery wasn't charging. And uh, I called them up and they just sent me a new battery. And I had no problems after that. Um, then my son-in-law who builds batteries fixed the other battery for me. So now I have two batteries. So I'm always able to ride. Right, that's a, that's fantastic having two batteries. That's ideal. It's very lucky. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just having to be lucky. But it also goes to show that these are folks that stand behind their bikes and their products. And if you have a problem, they'll make it right for you. So that was really good. Yes. So if you're thinking about an electric e-bike, this is the one we recommend. The first, because they support us, but because we know it to be a fantastic product at a fantastic price. Well, thanks so much, Christy. I appreciate your uh, your feedback on it. You're very welcome. So, folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.